Hey, what's up? Your boy is back with yet another project that we're working on with my M109R Boulevard, the boss. I'm super soaked about this. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing next. Although it is simple for most people, I am not mechanically inclined whatsoever. So, you know, these little projects, they're just exciting for me, man. I just want to go ahead and jump right into it. Check this out. <laughs> Here's my boy, the bully, in the garage. I got it stored in here. You know, it's uh, I'm, in, I'm in New York, so I've got, uh, it's 25 degrees or so outside right now. So I've got the heater running to keep the garage kind of warm. You know, I've got my space, you know, pretty good. So last week, I ended up installing my Q5 intakes, which is that right there. Pretty awesome job, I think. Um, yeah, I did a good job. You know, I, mean, I always do some stuff and always feel a sense of accomplishment whenever I get it done. And uh, this was one of the bigger projects that I did. Uh, so today what we're doing is we're going to add this bracket, which is a bag bracket. It's a solo bag bracket onto, uh, onto the bike. So it's gonna set up on the rear part of the bike here. Uh, give me a second here. It's gonna, I, I ended up taking off, you know, the pan, the side panel here, so all this is exposed. I guess it'll give me a little bit more room to work with. I am going to bolt that bracket using these two screws here. So I don't know if I'm gonna end up taking off or leaving this rear passenger peg. I might end up taking it off only because I, I, I usually don't ride with, um, with passengers, you know, and I like the look of just the sleek, you know, I, I like the look of one solo driving person on this bike. So I might end up taking off both brackets anyway, but uh, you know, maybe I'll see what it looks like with or without. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get to this install and I'm going to uh, show you the before and after. So obviously this is the before, all right? I got the whole panel off and stuff so I get a little bit more access and uh, let's get to it. bracket just came right off two screws hold it together it came right off so I really didn't notice this before but the pack comes with uh, these screws that are a little bit longer than the original screws that were mounted uh, that were mounted in there before so uh, I think that option is to uh, give you the chance or the option to uh, add the foot peg with the bracket on there. So I think I'm gonna try it with the bracket on there and see if it works out that way. If not, then hey, I'll just take it off. Wow. Yep, so that's exactly what it was. That bolt was made so that you could add the bracket as well as the foot peg if you wanted to leave it. So I'm gonna leave it on. There it is. I mean, this is silver. That's compared to the on, over the black, but this uh, goes right over it anyway. So that's gonna be completely covered, which is good. Oh yeah, I like this. I like this. The bag that I got, it's, uh, it's this bag that I got off of Amazon. It's a nine inch bag. Uh, it's about nine inches uh, in length on the back of it. it. Has these straps that I can just strap right onto the bracket there. Uh, so it's pretty much straps and bolt wheel to strap it right in. And uh, yep, let's take a look. This bag was 32 bucks on Amazon. And it's small, you know, you could put gloves in there. You could probably put a wallet or something in there if you want. Uh, small bag, I think it'll do the trick. right back into place 
seamless, flawless. Looking good. So, there's the final project. The bracket is on, the bag is on, all my side panels, the seat and everything is back on. Uh, I'll be quite honest, I like uh, the fact that I can put a solo bag on here. Um, I'm not too crazy about the size of the bag though. I think I might wanna go just a little bit bigger. I mean, I went initially small because I love the back rim and the, and the color and how it matches everything on the bike. So I wanna show that off and I don't wanna cover it. But um, maybe I'll go with something a little bit bigger. I'm not too crazy about the way the st it straps onto the back of the bracket. This one's pretty secure here. This side is a little bit loose. It's not going anywhere because it is buckled in there. But um, I don't know, like you can't really put anything much in there. You could put probably a pair of gloves, uh, maybe a wallet, uh, maybe some glasses or something like that, but that's pretty much it. Um, I don't plan to do any long, long road trips, but um, I don't know, I'll see. Maybe uh, when it starts to get warm outside and I start riding and I need, I find the need to use it, I'll do it. I ended up leaving the uh, foot peg on uh, because you just never know if you, uh, you know, are gonna have a passenger and, and have everything and, and, you, and you need the, the foot peg. So I decided to leave it on. So uh, it's great that it came with that option to either have it off or leave it on. Um, big shout out to these boys right here, Mean Cycles. Uh, for everything 109 Boulevard, Mean Cycles has it. I've, got, I've had my bike now for about a year. Actually, it's about a year and a month now. And everything that I've gotten uh, has been through Mean Cycles, whether it be the bag, well, not the bag, I got the bag from Amazon, but the bracket, um, my Q5 intakes on both sides, obviously I got, I got my, let me come over to this side here and show you what else what I, I've got. I've got another bike, it's my 2003 Kawasaki Drifter. Uh, my side burners here, which I love the sound of, and those of you that got the, um, uh, you know, the side burner, the, the um, hard chrome side burners, you, you know what it sounds like. This pretty much sounds pretty awesome. Um, I'm in New York, they're based out of Florida, and every time I've ordered something, it's come within two days. So these guys are awesome, check them out. I believe they're at meancycles.com. Um, yep, that's it. Um, my project is done for now. Can't wait for it to start getting warm so I could uh, start riding. My next project is probably going to be to exchange, uh, either put these lights up, or actually take them off, and um, you know probably put something a little bit smaller, maybe something a little bit more sleek and stuff. These are just, they stick out too far. You know, they're chrome. I'm trying to get rid of all the chrome and replace with everything black. So uh, that's probably gonna be my next project, but we'll see. Uh, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. We're out of here. The bully is out.